Hey guys, so there's some things I need to update you on for this video to make sense, so I will go ahead with that right now. Um, okay, this is my first lesson I've had back jumping Mia. It's only my second time riding in this saddle. This is my new Barnes Takram Valor cross country saddle, and it has a little bit of a weird fit right now, and I'll explain that in a second. But Mia and I had not really jumped since early June, late May. We'd only popped over fences a couple times when demoing the saddle. But like I said, I just got the saddle in the mail. The flocking needs to be adjusted for Mia's back because she is slightly downhill. I'm having to use my mattice pad with wool shims in the front to lift the front of the pad. And because of that, the saddle is almost sitting high up off her back if that makes sense and that changes where my legs hit her sides so everything overall just fits really different than I'm used to not fits necessarily but sits differently so my leg is sitting up higher and then she was really reactive to where my leg was sitting because it's not what she's used to so I had the balance corrected of the saddle oh see it's super cute my friend came over and was giving her mane scratches and she had a little lip going Anyhow, getting back to the point, I have a saddle fitter coming out this week. Um, yeah, it'll be this week by the time you're watching this video. And she's going to reflock the saddle to fit her absolutely perfect and have the balance perfect, just like she did for my dressage saddle from Barnes. But anyhow, this flap just fits me amazingly. And you can see right here, my leg isn't super stable because, first of all, my strips were long. I tried cantering and then we ended up stopping. Well, I cantered one right here, and it was like, okay, and then we switched direction and cantered the other way, but I was like, no, it's not working, my stirrups are just too long. So we stopped, raised my stirrups, and they were about a lower level jumping height once we raised them, but if I were to jump bigger fences, they'd go up another hole, and cross country would probably be another two holes up. And what's great about this saddle is the flap was custom made for me because I'm very long from hip to knee, and most of the time, my knee goes over the saddle flap, so you can see right there that I have plenty of extra room to go up in the holes as jumps go higher. But it was just really different for me to have a saddle that I had room to move in. So I was kind of having to figure it out and it'll be a lot easier once it's fitted to her because then it'll have a much more closer contact and not feel like I'm just sitting on a board high up off her back like can happen with some thick saddle pads. Anyhow, um, yeah, so I mean that is that. I think I explained it all. Yeah, so we're just trying to figure each other out again, the whole jumping thing, trying out a new saddle, all that. It didn't slip on her at all. There's her being sassy. So she has a rushing issue, and that's what we're working on here in this jumping lesson. Just kind of getting used to the saddle and getting our rushing issue fixed. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's a lot better than it was prior. Uh, we had not jumped since June because she outgrew my Voltaire cross country saddle. So we were just riding dressage for that whole time. And it's nice to see some of her dressage work coming through into her jumping now. Okay, I remembered what I forgot to say earlier. I know that when watching you ride, my leg is the thing that annoys me the most here. But I did want to say the reason why it was extra loud and noisy is because the flap wasn't super grippy yet. It's a brand new saddle that hadn't really been conditioned or made flexible and pliable yet so I'm working on that conditioning it and getting it more pliable and I'm also riding with brand new Millbrook strip leathers that I won in a giveaway from Ivy from I think it's Colindine Equestrian or I think she changed her name but anyhow yeah I won them in a giveaway and I was saving them for the saddle and it's really hard breaking in new strip leathers on a brand new saddle flap which I probably should have put my old strip leathers on and broken in the flap first then broken in the strap leathers. I don't know if you guys know this or are aware of this but when you break in saddles it's really important to break in the correct spot where your stirrup leather will lie because it creates kind of a channel that will just suck your stirrup leather in and it just stays there and you really want to make sure you break in your saddle right and if the balance of the seat isn't right then the channel where the stirrup leather sits gets broken in, in the wrong spot and your stirrup leather will forever want to go there. So if for instance, you have somebody who doesn't ride correctly break in the saddle, and then you have someone who does ride correctly ride in the saddle, it'll be a little bit annoying because your stirrup leather and stirrups will want to move to where the previous person rode in it. So just something I don't know if anybody was aware of that or 
I'm just rambling on. Okay, enough of that for now. Now you can watch cute little Mia rush everything. Okay, she's trying out her birthday sur single. This is my birthday slash Christmas present? No, just birthday. I thought it was birthday slash Christmas. No, Christmas is still vain. This is birthday, a month I'm early. not doing anything else today. <laughs> a month early. I know, huh? She's like, I'm done. What are you doing to me, lady? I'm sorry, Mia. You are done for the day. <laughs> Ears back. <laughs> sorry, Mia. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Looks good. Biggest girl. Looks good, Mia. But I like this style of stay single because it's all one piece. There's no like look at the other one. What are you doing to me, Mia? Mia, what are you doing to my legs? Are you getting your nosy slime all over my back? So this is the type I hate. These like leather panel type ones because I'll show you what happens when you have it on the horse. So when you go like this and you put pressure on it, it ends up doing like a nutcracker effect like Wait, this. I don't know if I'm getting this. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. You're tripping on the dog. <laughs> so okay. the problem with these is when you put them on, if you have a high weather horse, the top of the wither still hits this flat piece. And when you tighten it, it creates a nutcracker effect. So it goes like this against the horse. So this one is just a simple flat Hard to see because it's black. Yeah, it's hard. And then it has a really thick, cushy pad for padding across the spine. But I'll show you the difference right here. Versus this. So you can see how it kind of digs in right there. Mm -hmm. And the more you tighten it, the more it sits down and presses in. So it essentially pinches them right there. Okay. This will not. It's one simple flat with a really thick pad for comfort with lots of rings. Okay. <laughs> That's what she thinks it's about. Good one. thing the old one fell. <laughs> you know, right? So now I can sell this one. So this is the one he gave you with yep. the saddle? this one came with the saddle. should put it in the sun. It's not going to show up in the shade. There you go. It's a so pretty. pink and white. And I rode it yesterday. And you can kind of see the holes that need to be filled in on her panels. So oh, for the fixed. saddle fitter. Yeah, so that'll be fixed next week. In the saddle so right comes. there. But I used my spot. mattice pad with three of the wool shims to lift the front. So it created a really nice balance for the saddle. And it filled in a little bit of that hole. So we can create the same effect with blocking the saddle correctly. And that way it'll fit her better and not be like stacked up like the pad was. Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just like looking at the pad again. Yeah.
So here I am lunging Ami. I tried walking both of them so Mia would dry and Ami would get his hand walking in. But he was just so crazy hyper that I decided I'd put him in the round pan and just let him do what he wanted. So right here he's trotting. He already did all his canter and all that stuff. But I have to be careful about how much I let him do because of his healing rehab thing. I don't want you to get stepped on. What do we got here? Uh -oh. I want all the We're in colors. Mary's. I want all the colors. Look at this. Don't you have all the colors? No, I have I have this one. This one. This one. And this one. And an orange. I have an orange and a green and a navy. And then Maybe. This might be back, back. But I, oh, and I have this one. But this is really pretty. That's pretty. Aren't, aren't they all really pretty? Maybe. Yeah. We just that's finished me, looking at pads. Pretty. Let's show them the pad you really, really like. The one I've been dying for for months ever since they came out with this color. Just to die for. But I'm waiting until I can get a deal on it. The Emerald CS pad. I think it'll look amazing on my horses. And it has leather right there. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so mm -hmm. oh, We man. just went through all the pads. This is pretty. Here's a really interesting one yeah. by PS of Sweden. The black now has like a black accent in the front like that. Or back, I mean, in the back. I'm trying to pan slow. No one bigger be sick. This is the one I don't have yet, but it's her colors. It's the Catago? Catago? Sorry for butchering the name of it. But I have this one, and I use it a lot. And the gray and the blue. The gray, black, and blue I have. But I use a lot. Are we filming? Does it say? Yes. At the top. So I think it's kind of hard to tell. Something went in front of it. Oh, it was probably an message. Instagram. Yeah. The keys weren't in the right size. None of these would have worked. I looked through all these earlier. Oh, for covering those girls' dresses? Yeah. Last weekend when I only had like five minutes to look really quick. Yeah. Nothing would have worked, unfortunately. The, the wall. But these are the wall of, the wall of girths. Wall of bridles. I'd like to try this one sometime. This one, and then they have this one. I've been dying to try this. But it's gonna be a long, 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 long time. That's crazy looking. How much? You, how much would you guess this? Looks like is? hair bands right there. It kind of is, but it's stretchy. And it has. How much would I guess? Yeah, and it has fifty. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little off. Yeah, that's crazy contraption. I'd love to find it. Looks used, like it, you know, it looks like um to me like medieval times or something it has that kind of look to it. I don't know, but you can get different um, padding like if you want sheepskin or whatever or neoprene. This is the leather one, so I think that's why it's more expensive. But yeah, you can replace these, and then it kind of reminds me of the wild earth, and that's a little bit longer, but. Apparently it's supposed to be. What really do you got in your hand there? What's this brown thing? Oh, I'm looking for a nose band. This. Sorry, I can't explain it to you. I'll show you. Uh, like the bridles, you know? It goes like that on the back of the nose band. Like, like that, like like bam. There you go. Oh. Does that make sense? Under their the back, under their chin? Yes. On the bottom. But okay, to make it I softer. only found it in brown. I'm trying to find it in black. Or natural, okay. but preferably black. Okay. So somebody had put it in the wrong spot? Yeah, the one you found? Mm -hmm. 
Bingo, there they are. But did you find black? Yep, yeah, yeah, this is it. Now cool. I just need to make sure it'll fit on what my What else bridle. were you gonna look at while you were here? Saddle covers, which are right here. Oh, and that one, sh that one top. That was so pretty and made so nice. Who made that? Oh, that. Uh, I was so to saw, uh, but that's fitted. A, that's at Equus. Okay. Okay. That that is next. Okay. And then behind, there's all the pretty saddles. This is pretty, but it's not quite needy, is it? That's the one. It's, yeah, it's, you know, it's a little darker than um, royal. It's not exactly royal. Well, I was looking for navy. They call this navy and silver, but... It's more navy than royal. This is navy, right here. This is like, that's a true Oh, there's navy. more. Okay. I knew you'd be here. Of course. Okay. I think I take hard. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Take hard. It's so pretty, although I don't know if the sunset's going to make everything turn out weird. That's the racetrack. Okay, I'm freezing there. Go too fast, so it actually like focuses. show up in the video you guys the sunset is to die for look at that that's the sky out there oh my god it's so pretty right now it looks like sherbert beautiful san diego sunset oops sorry I'm trying to zoom out and the band tonight that was playing is common sense and they sounded awesome taking a break right now. We were getting food while they were playing. That sounded like Carly for a second. I know. Don't drop these. I'm eating regular. You're eating regular. I'm eating sweet potato. That's sweet potato. Are yours good? Mine are good. Jamie's having... Or was having We're popcorn. trying to save like 20 seats. For Pony Club? That works, yeah.
Yeah, straight time of 93.